My home in Hanoi, Vietnam. Not, not down there, up here. Look up, 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 up. I'm Justin Mott, welcome to my home in Hanoi, Vietnam. And I'm gonna talk to you today about mega tripod. This is the piece of equipment I get the most eyeballs, the most curiosity about. We're not gonna talk about editorial work today. This is a tripod I use in my commercial photography business. I'm gonna tell you how I use it. I'm gonna tell you why I use it. So stay tuned. So I put these two tripods just so you can compare the size when they're broken down. You can also see the difference in the, in the extensions here. This has one, two, three, four, five different extensions, and this Gitzo Travel Tripod has only three. Um, what a difference in size. This, I will go into the tech specs in a little bit. I, I just wanted you to see the size difference when they're broken down. This is with the Arca Swiss head on it. This head is actually an amazing piece of equipment for anyone that does interiors or exteriors or any architectural photography. This head is so awesome. I don't want to talk about it now because it's like deserves its own separate vlog. It's such a cool piece of equipment. Not many people need it, but it's really ridiculously priced. It's about $1,800, so it's actually more than this tripod. I'll take these down. I'll go into the tech specs and I'll tell you how I use it and why I use it. Okay, after taking it down, I decided to put it back up because I feel like it's nice next to me and I can talk about it. So would you rather call it Gitzo Mega Tripod or would you rather call it what they call it here? Listed on B&H, it's called the Gitzo GT5563GS Systematic Series 5 Carbon Fiber Tripod and then parentheses, giant, which is kind of funny. Uh, anyway, so it retails at $1,500. That's not shipping and handling. It has a maximum height of 109.4 inches, which is about nine feet, which for uh, you meter people, which is the rest of the world, it's about 2.74 meters when it's fully at its full height. Um, let's see, it can handle 88 pounds of, of equipment on it. Don't need that. So it has a payload of 88 pounds. It, it weighs uh, about eight pounds. So it's, it's heavy, but not too heavy. It, you know, easy to kind of carry with one hand. It's, it's very sturdy. So why do I use this tripod? Listen, this isn't meant for most people. I just thought this would be a lot of fun to talk about because this is an eye opener. When, I, when I'm standing on a ladder using this piece of equipment, people get a kick out of it. So I thought you guys might get a kick out of it. And I never really talk about my commercial photography business. So I thought this would be a good way to introduce that. I considered my YouTube channel just being about my wildlife stuff and my editorial stuff and that kind of stuff. But Commercial photography is a big part of my life. It's a big part of my business and my income. So I figured I'd talk about it. I own and operate a commercial photography business and video production business called Mott Visuals. Uh, I'll put a link to that. You can check it out. And listen, I'll talk about it today. If you think don't like talking about the commercial stuff and I see enough people hate it, I'll stick to editorial stuff. But if you like the commercial side of stuff, maybe I'll do a little bit more on that. So I decided to meld these together and, and, and talk a little bit about my commercial business. So that's what I use this for. I use this for commercial photography. I use this mainly on my hotel shoots. So my business, we do a lot of work for intercontinental hotels. We do a lot of work in the luxury hotel and resort market. So that means a lot of interiors, lifestyle shots, exteriors, um, composite shots sometimes. That's what I use this bad boy for. And we also do a lot of corporate industrial stuff as well. But I'm just going to talk about mainly today when I use this and how I use it in, in hotels which might seem weird. Why are you using this for hotels? So first thing, I use a Hasselblad system for my commercial work. All of our hotel stuff I shoot with the Hasselblad X1D, 50 megapixel camera, gigantic sensor, which maybe you won't be able to see right here, but it is ridiculous, this sensor. Like, go look it up, go look up a comparison. This sensor is obnoxiously large. So what does that mean? A giant sensor, 50 megapixels, um, I know a lot of you want to like write comments right now about Canon has 50 megapixels or the Fuji does. You can, but I'm really not going to respond to that. I hate those sort of battles. I like the Hasselblad camera because of the colors. I like it because of the aesthetic. You guys know I like design stuff. I like nice design. This camera is beautifully designed, but really it has beautiful colors and that medium format sensor is awesome. Stability is important because they're going to be blowing up these shots really big. They're going to be looking at details. A lot of people looking at these shots, you know, looking to find little things wrong with it. So I need it to be sharp. I need it to be stabilized. And that's why I like this. This tripod in particular is quite heavy and it's, it, it's, even though it's light to pick up, it's, it's quite stable. Like it doesn't move much. It doesn't shake. Honestly, like I use this camera on that smaller Gitzo once and the smallest vibration, it throws off your entire shot. And especially imagine you're doing these composite shots, what we do. Composite shots are, are like, we're, we're doing these giant rooms 
and we have to stay in one place with the camera, but we're taking 50 shots and blending them into one shot, which means we're going around and lighting everything individually. Like we're lighting, could be a living room over here, and then we're lighting the balcony. So when we do composite shots like that, everything has to be perfect. You have a couple shots where there's a little bit of vibration. For example, if you're on a wooden floor or a carpet and someone steps near you or walks by, which happens all the time, I would love to rope off an area around me so clients like don't want to come in and look because I could kind of have my own space, but it's not realistic. They always want to look and get close, but smallest vibration, you know, someone steps on the floor and this thing moves and it throws off an entire shot. And we, some of our composite shots, they could take like over an hour to do and, or you might not even know it. So later on you're screwed, you're in big trouble if it wasn't stable. So stability of this thing is so important. But the main reason I bought this tripod is the height and really the height for our commercial work, the height for our resort work. And why is that? Well, when I can get up that high, I can show these different layers. I can show the magnitude of some of these rooms. A lot of the time for hotels, we're doing these gigantic suites or we could be doing a huge ballroom or we could be doing a giant meeting area or even just like a breakfast area with a lot of different layers. And the higher I can get, the more I can show the space and the depth or just for example, we used it recently on a shoot for Intercontinental Jakarta. And they had this ridiculously giant ballroom that they use for weddings. They weddings for like thousands of people. So to show it at about my height wasn't enough. It didn't show how big, it didn't show the layers, it didn't show the depth of the space. To get up to nine feet, it was just enough to show that. Clients really do appreciate that. It's also a way to separate yourself from competitors. You know, if you're able to get those shots that they can, it's just another way to have an edge in your business. So that's really the main reason, just to get that height. And so how I operate with this thing is I will set it up to nine feet. We'll get a step ladder. Most of the hotels we work have a giant ladder. So I'll go up, I'll put in all my settings on the Hasselblad, I'll dial them in, make sure my focus is, is perfect, make sure the angle's perfect, and then what I do is I climb down and I use my iPad. They have, uh, Hasselblad has this great app called Focus. Everything can be done wirelessly. I can preview, I can show it to my client. I can step back a little bit from the tripod so I'm not creating any vibrations. So I basically set up, set everything up, preview it on here, and I just shoot, I just press the button. This has like, I can dial in everything. I can change exposures, everything I wanna do, I could do it right from here. And also if you're doing a shot that's you know 50 shots of a composite, it's nice to not be standing on a ladder in an awkward position. I can, I can get down low and I can actually relax and get the shot from a more comfortable position. So that's really how I use this. I know it's not for most people. So outside of architectural photography, I think some people could use it that like to do landscape. Other than that, it's really a niche, niche kind of tripod, but I thought it would be fun to share with you because it is an interesting piece of equipment and people do always ask me, who is using that or why are you using that? Why do you need a tripod that goes that high? It is a pain to take up and bring down again. My, my assistant always look kind of like, I know he doesn't really roll his eyes in front of me, but I know every time I'm like, all right, get mega tripod. He's like, oh. I know he hates it, but it's a pain. We actually take it down together sometimes. It's when you're moving to a lot of different rooms, it can be a, it can be a pain to take down. It's really hard to carry something nine feet around these busy hotels. So it's a pain to break down. It's a pain to put up, um, but it's, it's not awful. I hope you enjoyed this. It was fun to introduce Mott Visuals to you. I will show you just quickly right now. I can show you a couple of hotel shots as you can see kind of the work I do outside of the other work. I can introduce that to you. So right now I'll show a couple of pictures. Should I talk over it? Should I not? Look at the pictures. That should be a few, I don't wanna to show too many, but you can check out more at montvisuals.com. Let me know what you think about bringing in my commercial photography work into this vlog, if that's something you'd be interested in. I can even create a separate playlist for that, but it's a big part of my life, big part of what I do, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Thank you for your time today. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day.